Maurice Ewing and Ward. This medal recognizes a career that's had a, a consistent, uh, distinguished contribution year after year after year, and those contributions have done some great advances to our, our science and our profession. This is also an award that there has to be a unanimous agreement among the Honors and Awards Committee. There has to be a unanimous agreement by the Board of Directors. That's 19 people you know, who say, that's it, that's the person. All right. This year, we present the Maurice Ewing Medal to Samuel Gray. He's made major contributions in the areas of depth imaging, velocity estimation, seismic modeling. He's pioneered and collaborated with others in things called turning wave imaging, anti-aliasing and Kirchhoff migration, uh, true amplitude imaging, beam migration, wave equation migration. But probably sound skill is he's a good communicator, a great communicator. He works with very complex mathematics and he can explain it to people in words you can understand. So, Sam, congratulations. Come over here and talk to us, will you please? Thank you, Bob. That uh, made me sound pretty good. <laughs> but indeed, I must admit, my initial response to uh, uh, winning this award was, me? Why me? I'm an imposter. I assume that's probably pretty typical. Eventually, though, I came to recognize that this award was less about me than it is about what my peers think about me. And that is truly humbling, and for that I'm deeply grateful. So I want to thank some of the people who have been the most responsible for whatever success I might have had. And that begins with my mentors, especially Norm Bleistein and Sven Tritel. <laughs> Norm taught me that a uh, little bit of advanced mathematics can do the work of a lot of computation. And Sven taught me to simplify, but not too much. Next, my managers, and this will not be my standard rant because I've been really lucky with bosses, as it turns out, throughout my career. Uh, Ken Kelly and Jeff Johnson at Amico, and uh, Colin Murdoch and Peter Whiting at, CG, at uh, Veritas and CGG really stood out. They didn't always know what I was doing. And I'm sure that sometimes they didn't know whether I was doing anything, but they seemed to trust me but maybe I'm being presumptuous. I've had great uh, and inspiring colleagues who taught me all the geophysics I know. Goodness knows I didn't learn any in school. These are the legends of geophysics, people like Larry Lines, Kurt Marford, Dan Whitmore, John Etchen, Joe Dellinger, Gary Murphy at Amico, James Sun, Carl Lotvers, Yu Zhang, Jerry Young, Gilles Lambert, and Sheng Zhu at uh, Veritas and CGG. And um, by the way, if, if Norm taught me that uh, math can save computation, it was John Etchen who taught me that a little advanced computing can do the work of math that hasn't even been invented yet. <laughs> Last, there are a few geniuses in our field who have been a true inspiration, really, for us all. And I'm thinking of John Clairbaut, Dave Hale, Ross Hill. These are the people whose ideas are so brilliant that I still can't figure out where they came from. I would really love to be able to think like these guys. And finally, I want to say, Houston Strong. Thank you.